Well, this is quick and easy wholemeal bread, and you're just going to see before your very eyes how easy and how quick it is. First of all, I had one pound four ounces of flour, which was warmed slightly. Then I added yeast, sugar and salt, as I did in the other loaf. And now I'm adding water, and I'm going to mix this to a dough, just as I did before. And if you make a wholemeal loaf like this at home yourself, the taste of it is absolutely out of this world. It really is like biting into a cornfield. When you think wholemeal, you think capital F flavour. So you carry on mixing until all that moisture and water is worked into the dough. And once it's mixed so that it leaves the bowl clean, you can transfer it onto your board, but the good news is no kneading. What you do is you just stretch it out, as we did before, into an ob oblong shape like this, and then fold one piece over, as we did before, and one piece over that, and then put the loaf, the, the dough rather, into the bread tin, and then just sort of ease it round so it fills the bread tin, like that. Then, sprinkle it with a little bit of flour, which always makes it look pretty. I think flour-dusted bread always sort of has that wonderful homemade look about it. Then you cover it with a damp cloth and leave it to rise. It's only going to have one rise, and I haven't told you so far, but this is actually um, a two-pound loaf tin this time. It's going to be a larger loaf and not two small ones, although you can make two small ones if you want to. So over here, we've got one that's had about an hour at room temperature, and that's what you want. You want the dough to have come right up to the top of the tin. It's not going to have a rounded top like white bread. That's as, that's as high as it's going to come. And that goes into an oven, preheated oven, gas mark six this time, not quite as hot as last time. And then you cook the loaf for about 40 minutes, test it as I told you to by tapping it, and then turn it back into the oven upside down just to get a final crisping. And I promise you, once you've tasted homemade wholemeal bread, you'll never want to eat any other kind of bread. <laughs> <laughs>